Hey guys, welcome back to Back Pocket Game Reviews, and today we're going to review Horizon Zero Dawn. So this is one of those games I was pretty excited for. It is a PlayStation exclusive, and as you all know, Uncharted has maintained being my favorite PlayStation exclusive for a very long time. So this game has a lot of really interesting elements, and to a huge degree, play-wise, like the way it plays, feels similar to like a Tomb Raider. But story-wise, it reminds me a lot of Far Cry Primal, but without the downsides of it being Far Cry Primal. No offense to Far Cry on that one. Uh, the combat is very interesting and unique in this game. A lot of it's based around a bow. You do earn different weapons throughout this game, though. So it's not like you're stuck using the bow. You have uh, different types of weapons, like one will actually wrap them up so they can't really move, and you're fighting these robot dinosaurs that have different abilities per robot so like certain and some of them are really big I mean it it literally feels like robot Jurassic Park unfortunately too I would have more combat footage in here but for some reason my video clips didn't record correctly on the PlayStation I've played this game majority in performance mode because it does have two different modes for PlayStation Pro or PS4 Pro users so you can have it do the 4K and it's a checkerboarded 4K and or you can have it bump up the performance and run at a smoother frame rate at 1080 locked the whole time which has been the way I have essentially been playing this mostly because I, I've been streaming some of it and allowing Twitch to kind of with Twitch if I do it in the 1080 with the locked frame rate the viewers do get a big advantage to it uh, and certain parts of it, like right here where I'm climbing this Brontosaurus-like thing, is almost like the Assassin's Creed-like things you climb up, the uh, eagle points or the eagle views or whatever they're called. Uh, this game, though, is just beautiful. From the actual open world to the story, everything about it is just so well done. There are so many different things and different play styles. This caters to however you want to play it. You can be sneaky, you can go for a full-out offensive. No, you're wrong, there's certain things you can't really take down in a sneaky manner. There are going to be a lot of these dinosaurs that are really going to test you. Uh, you can also override certain ones, like the one right there I'm riding is called a Strider, and that'll actually allow you to ride him as long as you override him. Uh, and you can't override everything from the start, you have to unlock the abilities to do so. And it does have a very good development system, and it does have a very good trade system with the way that you can buy different upgrades and stuff along those lines from vendors or from actual skills themselves. I would strongly suggest this game to anyone who is interested in it. It has a Bioshock kind of wheel on your choices. Like, so when you're talking to someone, you can actually choose the different types of options you want to use to interact with them. And it just feels so fresh and so much fun, but it it's not an RPG. So by no means are you really controlling the full story. You can only control certain aspects of it. But I strongly doubt anyone's going to be disappointed who does pick this up. And it'll probably easily be within my top five favorite games for this year. I'm not going to say it's going to be the number one, just because still plenty of year left, and I'm sure after E3, plenty of stuff is going to release to shock us. But guys, uh, if you do like this game, let me know in the comments down below how you're enjoying it so far. I also did start my Patreon, so any of you who do want to contribute to my Patreon, it'll be linked on one of the cards here in this video. And don't forget to check out my gaming setup tour video I released earlier today as well. But guys... I'll have plenty more content coming for you soon, especially with the Switch launch right around the corner. And I hope everyone who picked this up is having a great time with it, because I think this game is a pure masterpiece. But guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. 